Hello everybody, and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Armageddon. In the last episode, we got to the end of this mission, and then found out that we were literally one tile short, uh, one kill and one tile short, of uh, winning this, uh, this mission. Uh, luckily, um, I was able to figure out a way of beating it. Now, I basically just reloaded that last turn and kept playing it over again, experimenting. Uh, I didn't want to record that because I did that last time and it lasted for like a half hour. It was an episode in of itself and I don't think that makes good content. Uh, but basically it just came down to doing it in the correct order, but I was able to finally kill that one gun truck that was left there and get the Ogrens into the command, uh, capture circle. Uh, so yeah, th that's done. I haven't lost anything more, really. I may have taken a couple more losses in a few of my units, but either way, it worked out. And we now have all eight victory zones. And uh, yeah, let's end the turn and finish this damn mission. Victory! It only took like seven tries. And then I don't even want to count how many tries it took me at the last turn. Proceed. No, humans. No. This hive is mine. I ain't having you try and take it from me now. I'm gonna kill that evil eye, Dick Yarrick, and smack any space marines that get in reach! Commander, you are deep in the hive, but so are the orcs. Time is running out. Find Commissar Yarrick. He's the key to this engagement. If the orcs slay him, more than the hive will fall. I know you have forbidden me from such personal remarks, but I will pray for your success. <sighs> you continue to impress, Commander. I am engaging with the Xenos Overlord directly. Scour the hive of orcs and find the Commissar, but do it quickly. Of course, Lord Dante. Anything for the Emperor's Space Marines. Scenario objective. Locate Yarrick and then move him back uh, to your initial deployment area to exit the hive. Scenario warning. The dense terrain of the inner hive severely restricts large vehicle movement. Deploy uh, Deployment of significant infantry assets is highly recommended. Okay, maybe the Bane Blade wasn't a great idea then. Uh, okay, so no heavy uh, armor. Let's see here. Purchase. Okay, we have nothing else we can pick up. So, yep, it's just the infantry units. Okay. So we've got to search through all of these areas here. Alright, uh, we can do that, I guess. We've got plenty of space marines to help us. Let's actually get this. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so we'll have uh, Captain Tycho take uh, forward deployment with our command squad up here. We'll just start deploying our units uh, in a general fashion. Okay, and we'll have our artillery deploy in the back, sentinel forward, and the marines. There we go, spread evenly. Okay, so we have to go through. What is our objective? Locate Yark, then move him back to your initial deployment zone. Okay, so Yark is in one of these areas along the map. I say the best bet would be to move north on this map and start uh, searching out these areas here, then move across. That'll be the majority of them in this little area here, and then we'll have a small minority down here to check afterwards. All right, and deployment. Well, actually, hold on. Let's make sure we don't repeat uh, anything. Let's just save that. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I do wish I still had my jump pack infantry assault marines. Uh, that'd be great. Ooh. Oh, just slugger boys? Slugger boys. Ard boys with sluggers. Shooter boys with big shooters. Okay. Yeah, it's some easy targets right there. Let's clear out this passageway. Okay. There we go. Okay, and get our artillery pieces. I'm not sure how artillery operates inside of an enclosed hive structure, but uh, yeah, I'm not going to complain. Okay, get in close with them. Yeah, 
that'll work. Alright. I think we're good. Let's get our sentinels up forward. Yeah. Pretty simple stuff, nothing too big to worry about. Not seeing any large vehicles, which is our major problem. And let's, uh, we got 18 turns to do this, so let's end the turn. Who knows, maybe we'll get lucky and we'll find the Ark in the first spot. You never know. Okay, Bane Blade up forward, front and center. Should keep you back there. Okay, Terminator's forward, knock out the Gretchen. Okay, nothing... Again, nothing that's really... throwing me for a loop here. Okay, that's first location. Okay, get the Basilisk to knock out the Shooter Boys. Alright, just about done that. Great, we'll move these guys back, get the Marines in here, knock out the Ard Boys. There we go, nice little command squad to take out the rest. Search that location. Uh, Ogrins, you get some replacements in you. You up here. Okay, some more Ard Boys with Shooters. Alright, we've already searched two locations, no Yark so far. Uh, but we knew it would be, uh, be difficult to find him in this uh, one man in a hive. Okay, yep, end turn. No counterattack yet. Okay. Get the Basilisk front and center. Start putting shots on these guys. Okay. Get some replacements for this unit. Yurik has been discovered. Oh. Oh, where the hell was he? Uh, Yarik, 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 Yarik. Where, where the hell are you? Uh, shit. I'm missing him somewhere, aren't I? Uh, he's not here. He's not there. He's not there. Okay, hold on. Hold on. The game's graphics are giving me trouble right now. Where? I'm not seeing him. Before I get him back to the deployment zone, but I don't know where he is. Might be there? No? Maybe this area? I'm not sure. Let's get Tycho front and center. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Nope, keep you right there. Okay. Yeah, move you guys up. I'm not seeing, not seeing Yarok anywhere. Maybe he'll show up next turn. Maybe. All right, end turn. He didn't pop up anywhere. Or am I just being stupid? I'm not sure. Oh, there he is. Yep, Commissar Yark. Yep. Okay, found him. Mega armored knobs. Yeah, I don't like the fact that they're there. Alright. Alright, Marines front and center. Get on Yark's flank. Get some artillery onto him. Okay, Captain Tycho, move up. Knock out the Mega Arbor knobs. 
Okay, that's secure. Get back there. Okay. We have a secure pathway for them to come down. Okay. And that's about all we can do. And end turn. Alright, they're attacking us. Oh, that's a flamer. Ooh, that's not good. Yep, here they come. Alright, Terminators come around behind. Knock out these guys. You take some replacements. Uh, let's get some... Artillery? Where are we going to put the artillery? You get some replacements as well. Captain Tycho, move up. Knock out those guys. Or try to. Alright, you're clear. Alright. Bring you guys down here. Put some shots into them. Alright, Yark's moving back. With this unit of Marines as well. Let's put a shot into them, and then we'll put a shot in on the... Yeah, we'll put it on the Art Boys. Get you into some cover. Pull you back. Get our command squad down here. Yeah, hit them. Pull these guys back, and these guys back, and the artillery pieces back as well. Okay. Yeah, that looks good. We'll pull back the marines for as a rear guard. Alright, and then turn. No, they're trying to come around behind us. Okay, Bane Blade, knock them out. Medusa, move back. Yep, hit them. Basilisk. Okay, get some replacements for that unit. Almost to our deployment zone here. Captain Tycho back here. There we go. Ambush them from the streets. From the buildings lining the streets. Okay, Marines. Knock out that pursuing force, then move back. Command squad come down here. Okay. It looks like everybody... Not much else we can really do. Could attack with the Ogrens. Rather just uh, get them some replacements. And start pulling our men back. Alright, and end turn. Okay, they're getting close. Reduce the siege gun on those guys. Put you over here and knock them out. Okay, Yark's back there. He's being helped by some blood angels. Okay, Terminators attack. Tycho do the same. Alright, Ogrens do the same. There we go. These guys right here have saved us, because those orcs would have been able to get right past there and cut us off. But with them here, they could they have to go down around, which is a long way to go. Okay, and in turn.
Yeah, we lost Sentinel, but... There we go. We got Yark. And... Let's proceed. It is good to see you again. And, I admit, not a moment too soon. See, I told you war fashions exceptional acts and leaders. And I note you have brought the Adeptus Astartes with you. Excuse me, Commander. I must talk to the Blood Angel's Chapter Master before his warriors slay every Xenos still breathing and rob us of any intelligence. Of course. Yeah. Commander, your men must be praised. None is needed. We were just doing our duty, as were you. I am glad you are finding your faith again, and I'm grateful for that. Just offer thanks for, uh, from me when you next send tribute to the Emperor. Praise the men, but I have no time for such things. No, let's be pious. I will pray, but not just to the Emperor. The group I belong to, the Brotherhood of Sol, take a more holistic overview. Still, I will indeed pray. Change is needed. And the Space Marines, and you in particular, Commander, seem to be the best agents to do this while the Orcs still thrive. It is as I feared, my lord. The Orcs are far more devious than we have given them credit for. Gazkul Thracker is far more powerful and intelligent than any other Orc we have encountered. Perhaps since the legends of Ulanor. Yet he is still flesh and base blood, Commissar. The Xenos can and will be killed, and Armageddon liberated. We have three Space Marine chapters on world, and the likes of the Commander's Steel Legion here. The Orcs cannot stand against us. We need to cut the head off this serpent. Once their figurehead is gone, the rest of the Orcs will revert to their more predictable behaviors, and be easier to wipe out. What next, my lord? Please. You and the Commander have more than earned my respect, and can address me as Commander Dante. Ever since Thraka evaded my grasp at Hades, he has switched his attention to Tartarus. The beast, in another ingenious move, has attempted to cripple the last manufacturing base still intact, and starve our forces of supplies. We have precious little time to counter this threat. The Blood Angels and Ultramarines must return to their ships immediately, and will combat drop directly on the hordes. This is a risky strategy, but we don't have any other choice. Lord Dante, Asheron is secure. We've massacred countless greenskins at the Stygis bridges. They will long remember the wrath of Vulcan. Now, Steel Legion can take over defending the crossings. I request that the Salamanders join you at Tartarus. We wish to burn more orcs. You have done well, brother. We will fight this battle side by side, slaying the beasts with Bolter and Fire. <sighs> Commander, you will follow shortly after us. We need every able man we can muster in this battle. Take your battalions. Under my authority, requisition all functioning void ships and make the journey across the continent to Tartarus. Once there, wait for my signal. All right, looks like we're under the command Come of a competent on. leader. You have made it to Tartarus just in time. Space Marines have established a perimeter and seized all bridges across Skeletus River, thus preventing the bulk of the Orcish army from crossing to this side. For the moment, we only need to deal with half of the Horde. Land your ships and deploy for the battle. This might be your most difficult battle yet. The Orcs outnumber us ten to one. But they did not expect us and are now bewildered. By acting fast, we'll tip the balance in our favor. Strike decisively, and aim for Gaskull's mobile base, his boss fortress to use their bestial parlance. If you get the opportunity, take the creature out. Good right. to have you here at Tartarus, Commander. It's a name of hell and fire that evokes strong feelings in my brethren. Steel Legion and Space Marines will fight this battle together. I will see you on the battlefield. Okay. Sounds good. Scenario objective. Capture all four victory hexes and destroy Gra Gazgul Gazkul's Thakas. I've, I've heard it like five times now and I've just completely blanked on it. Battle fortress unit. So we have to kill his battle fortress unit and we have to take all four of these victory hexes right in the center. Sounds good. Wow, we got a lot of points for that last uh, mission. Okay, 
Well, let's take a look at what we have available to us. Well, we could upgrade things, but I don't feel... Well, let's see. Can we, we can't upgrade them at all. Nope. Let's take a look at this. Okay. For the Steel Legion, doesn't look like much is available. We have seven units to pick up. Oof. Uh, eh, could pick up... Oh, uh, Could pick up some Ultramarines. Let's see, for Steel Legion, doesn't look like much here. Yeah, not much there. We definitely need our Lehman Russ back. Um, let's see here. What should we pick up? Weapon upgrade. Purchase. Got that. Uh, artillery. We've got plenty of artillery units. Aircraft could pick up an aircraft unit. Let's see, Storm Ravens, nothing too big there. Tanks. Is there any unique ones? Helios, Crusader, Achilles. Achilles. So what is this? Uh, Stalker Hunter, Predator Annihilator, Destructor, Destructor, Razorback. Oh, there it goes. Ball, Ball Predator, which has two assault cannons, looks like. Eh. See some scout bikes, land speeders. Land speeders didn't really do much for us last time. Walkers. What are we gonna do for? Could pick up a dreadnought. Missile battery, las cannon. Oh, that is a good. That is very tempting. armor piercing. That's a lot of armor piercing there. Then we get the assault cannon on top of that, which is really good. Or we can pick up the Hellfire. What is the Furiosa? So that's just uh, two heavy flamers, two blood talons. So close combat, it looks like. Creates terror as well, which I guess is, uh, that'd be morale damage. You know what? Let's pick up a Hellfire. Let's pick up a standard Dreadnought. Let's pick up a standard Dreadnought. There we go. And as for infantry, we could pick up a Space Marine Command Squad. It's probably be really nice. Salt Squad, Devastator with Heavy Bolters, Devastator with multi Meltas. Let's pick up a Command Squad with a Rhino. With some, uh, we'll do the uh, Ultramarines. Pick up Devastator with Heavy Bolters. Okay. Did we lose anything else from the Mar from our Steel Legion? Can't remember. What did we lose? Well, we lost an Assault Squad. I know that. And that was a Space Marine Assault Squad. So let's pick up an Assault Squad in Rhino. Yeah, purchase those. Cool. And, uh, what else should we pick up? Let's pick up a Terminator squad with Cyclone and a Land Raider. It's expensive, but pick them up no matter. Yeah, I think that'll work. So we got two Terminator squads. We got plenty of uh, infantry, marine, uh, marine infantry. We got plenty of Steel Legion infantry still. Uh, plus our, uh, Ogrins. Yeah, it's looking good. Hmm. Now we have one more thing we can pick up that's not replacements. Death Company? Ooh, that is an option. Or we can look at possibly another tank. We could pick up a Space Marine tank, I guess. Yeah, we lost the Vindicator. That's what it was. We lost our Vindicator. Uh. Hmm. Somebody did say that there's no love for the Ultramarines, so we could just pick up a Vind an Ultramarine Vindicator to replace the Blood Angels one that we lost. Or we could pick up a, uh... Ooh, a Land Raider. So what is that? That's, uh... Is that hurricane pattern something? 
Assault Cannons, Multi Melta. Got the Helios, which has a shit ton of uh, Whirlwind Missile Launchers. This one, which is a Thunderfire Cannon. Ooh, that looks. A couple of Multi Meltas. This looks to be the longer range one with the Hellfire. I think let's pick up the Land Raider Crusader. I think that's the standard variant. To replace the Vindicator we lost. So that that looks good. So we got some we got some Ultramarines, we got some Blood Ravens, and we got Steel Legion. All working together under one commander. Uh, even though I don't technically command the Marines, I'm just kind of suggesting to them orders. Uh, is what I'm assuming it is. But, uh, looking at the time, we are at the end of this episode. So if you liked it, please leave a comment down below. So hit that like button if you liked it. If you want to help support the channel, consider that subscribe button, as well as taking a look at the description down below. If you want to uh, help support, there is a, uh, a link to my uh, Discord channel and my Patreon campaign. So if you have the ability to, check out the Patreon. Uh, every little bit counts, and it goes towards helping the channel grow. Uh, if you want, uh, and yeah, I will see you in the next episode. Bye!